I ain't saying you can't do what you want to do. I just ain't going for it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings. And to be real with y'all, I don't know why I'm at this table. But I'm going to do what I'm told. This is going to be a twin flame reading. This is a, you know, a lot of y'all been requesting me to do a twin flame reading. But I haven't really been doing one. What I'm going to do one tonight, though. All right, so everybody who believes that they're in the twin flame union, this reading is for you. Now, Scorpios, I feel like there's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of commotion. And what y'all need to know is that your twin is you. So if your twin is going through something sad, depressed, getting drugged, you also feel this sadness, this depression, this, this crying, these tears, this isolation. Whoever this is, they are antagonizing somebody. You ain't shit. You a broke motherfucker. You ain't got none. You have nowhere to go. You broke. I mean, this is just disres. It's it's just, it, you know what? It's pissing me off. It's making me so uncomfortable. It's making me so angry. It's as if this person is saying these things to me. <laughs> like I just don't understand, Scorpio. Okay. So um, somebody feels very broken, very low, very just hurt, very just I don't know. This is super heavy. Someone feels embarrassed and disrespected in front of their peers as well. And this is so crazy because they're doing this and they didn't do anything. Well, you know, not, not. It's kind of like you get sentenced to jail for a crime that you didn't commit. You did other crimes, but not the one that you went to jail for. This is the kind of situation or energy that we're in right now, Scorpio. All right, let's get into it. Somebody is just not interested in sex, okay? There's another woman. All right, so Scorpio, you play a role in this in some kind of way. There is somebody else here, okay? This other woman reads, intellectual. Somebody is just not interested in touching or being sexual with somebody. And this could be because someone, you know, was... They, they could have talked to somebody. They could have mentally been stimulated by somebody. Could have been conversation-wise. Somebody's not interested in having sex with their partner here because of another woman. Because they feel like, you know, this man would rather be with this other woman or this woman would rather be with this man, okay? But this woman is still holding on to this man and disrespecting them. And, you know, this man is allowing it. This woman is allowing it. They are allowing to be disrespected because of some form of inf infidelity. See how these people's hands don't match? So they're allowing themselves to be abused and disrespected because of their infidelity when they should take this infidelity as a reason for them to leave. But they are not doing so. This person is getting disrespected, and whether this be a man or a woman, okay, I want to be very clear about that. Scorpio, something could be happening that is ridiculous. Like every single ex, I'm talking about people that you do not talk to, people are just coming out of the goddamn trenches. You like, what the fuck? To speak to you, to talk to you, to communicate with you, to text with you, to see what you are doing. And you could be like, what the hell is going on here? Okay. Now, some of these people are married. So you really got to be like, um, is these people crazy? Okay. Also, Scorpio, um, this karmic could be going crazy about you. <sighs> yeah. Somebody is having a huge altercation. This is, this is bad. Okay. So, Scorpio, somebody is very mad. They're upset. They're being disrespected. And this is all over you, okay? And somebody not being interested in having sex with somebody that they're with, okay? Now, this could be somebody being very disrespectful. This is a woman who is not healed that is basically dragging this man, disrespecting him, belittling him, and treating him like shit all over you. The high priest is somebody that's intuitive. You do your own thing. You look very sexy. You're very handsome. But you could dabble into some other shit. You know what I'm saying? It don't got to be negative shit. It's just some shit that is not as common as something else okay now somebody is getting into an argument over you okay and it just is never dropped like you are a very sensitive topic and these people just keep arguing and arguing and arguing and it's just making this person not want to have sex with their partner now i'm not sure why they're arguing over you scorpio but i i just feel like it's because you know you're smart you're witty you're intelligent i don't really think that you really did anything to be a part of this argument but it's like you're forbidden you're not supposed to be seen with this person talking to this person you know it's forbidden and whoever that they are with they're not interested in fucking with them yeah somebody's trying to make it seem like you put a love spell on somebody i strongly feel like somebody, somebody is arguing over you and they're tired of arguing over you okay it says for you need a job yeah okay damn damn 
Damn. All right. So bottom of the deck. So you are the divine feminine. You are loving and healing and your divine masculine is in a situation with someone that they have kids with, whether you be a male or a female. Now, people have went around and said that you have cast love spells on people when you have done none of the sort, but you have predicted a lot of things that have happened here. Now, there is somebody in tag and somebody saying, bitch, you need a job, bitch, you need to go work at your job. You know, whatever the fuck this is, it's just constant argument, constant hackling over family, you know, and, and somebody needs to talk. But when they say they need to talk, it's arguing, it's disrespect, okay? And, it, and it's, it's bad, okay? It's vicious. I mean, two wolves barking back and forth at each other. I'm not fighting in between no two wolves. I don't know about y'all, okay? Somebody needs therapy, but it's past therapy. This needs to be separation. And it's all over a woman, all right? Now, the woman that this person did choose with the divine feminine and the worst in, in reverse is someone who is cunning, manipulating, disrespectful, nasty at the tongue. And somebody could be antagonizing somebody like you dirty ass, broke ass, bum bitch. You can't do shit. You can't go nowhere. You broke bitch. Don't nobody want to take you. But let me tell you something. Your twin will always take you. All you got to do is say, I'm sorry. That's it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have did that to you. Forgiven. So always remember that your twin will always give you somewhere to stay. You know what I mean? No strings attached, no issues, no nothing, no questions asked. You'll never be asked out. And trust and believe that will never happen, okay? With the divine feminine here, whoever this is, they are banking on your ass to be kicked out. They want somebody to treat you like shit. Whoever this is, they always wanted you to be a bum. They always, they always, they always knew that. And you always knew that, okay? One of these people's punishments is being dragged by this, this dysfunctional woman, or this dysfunctional man. This is this person's punishment. Because don't nobody got to be treated like this over no kids. Come on. Be for real. Even this person had a dysfunctional mom or a dysfunctional dad. All right. With the high priestess out here. You know all this shit is happening. And this shit to hurt. This shit is hurting the shit out of somebody. And they kids can hear this. Okay. There's a lot of fake friends here too. Okay. So you got a lot of fake friends around you, Scorpio. You need to be mindful of that. This could be a female who recently had on a white shirt, okay? Or just, I don't know, heavy cleavage or big earrings, okay? But this person is not your friend. They are being fake as fuck to your dumb ass, so you need to know that. Whoever this is, their earrings were really, really big. They may have to, like, constantly touch it or something. Um, somebody doesn't have an STD, okay? I don't know why that's important, but somebody does not have an STD. Somebody could be doing a background check, or somebody wants to send proof of that. Somebody found somebody's pictures. Somebody look at somebody's pictures, but they're not naughty. This, somebody could have been caught looking at somebody's pictures on the computer, but they weren't naughty pictures. They were just regular pictures, but they were doing this in a fake profile. So somebody could have got caught up. This man looking at you from another folk profile picture, uh, profile page on social media, but he was just looking at your pictures. Okay, this is somebody who um, you had sexual protection with, or this person is very protective over you sexually okay or you never had sex with this person period but they look at your pictures and stuff they want to sit down and talk to you um they're gonna leave this house somebody's leaving this house they're gonna find somewhere to go they don't care where they gotta go even if they gotta sleep in their car they just want to leave they can't stay here anymore it's just bad it's toxic and someone understands that someone is always mad about other bitches and, and this nigga don't got other bitches whoever this nigga is he don't got other bitches like this ain't no other bitches but whoever you are scorpio you are a problem okay and you get everything that you want i'm talking about nails done hair done everything day somebody been putting spells on your money okay trying to fuck your money up as well okay and you could smoke a lot of weed or eat a lot of weed to relax this twin flame reading is pretty intense, okay? But somebody is being pushed very hard. All somebody has to do is say, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry will heal everything and you will be forgiven instantly. This is crazy. Somebody is nasty. I miss the way I feel when I'm around you. Yeah, somebody has really destroyed the fucking shit out of somebody's self-esteem. Somebody misses you tremendously, Scorpio. They really, really do. And they think about how empty they feel without you. So somebody just really feels how empty they feel without just real love. But this person can't just use your love for them to replenish their self. They got to work on their self. You, you, you might can help this person get this person back on their feet a little bit. And I think you will be able to help this person from like four to six months. But after that happens, Scorpio, this person got to just focus on themselves for a little while. And then maybe y'all can come back together after a year or two or something like that. But this person has to go through some time being by themselves. 
this person has gotten a number done on their ass. They got drugged to the worst. I mean, disrespected in front of their peers, disrespected in front of strangers, disrespected in front of everybody, all because of what? And they know deep down it wasn't worth it because this person always disrespected them, but it was just getting worse and worse. And all of these people, these neighbors, these friends, was telling this person stay with this person stay with this person but as the abuse growed more vigilant more violent more disrespectful people were saying hey man it's not worth that you need to leave like maybe y'all do need to separate yeah because something is just foul something is foul okay and you were always everything to this person this person always knew that you gave them stability balance love completion this is deep y'all somebody is getting abused man or woman and it's all over you. It's not really your fault. Like, this person really need to stand up for themselves. Nobody even fucked each other. Look, sexually transmitted disease in reverse with protection. You didn't fuck this person. You was not interested in sex. You was never interested. Another woman, maybe you was interested in conversation, maybe dialogue, maybe communication. But that's it. Nothing, not interested in fucking at all. Okay, but somebody felt like you was. You didn't even have sex with this person. This shit is crazy. Love spells here. High priestess. Arguments over you. Background checks. Searching your engine. You all in it. Okay. We need to talk. This person could come talk to you about something dealing with their family. They needed a job. Somebody got fake ass friends. Not interested in another woman. Be careful. Okay. This is crazy. I mean, it's not super duper crazy, but this is wild. This is wild, Scorpio. How does this person feel about Scorpio that's going through all this right now? How does this person feel about Scorpio that's going through all this right now? How does this person feel about Scorpio that's going through all this right now? This could be the one. This person feel like you don't feel like they're the one for you anymore. This person feels like you disregarded them just like this person is disregarding them at this time. But you're not, Scorpio. You know, this your twin and you'll fuck with your twin to the day you die. You just want your twin to apologize and then y'all back like butter, smooth like peanut butter and jelly, like nothing ever left, okay? You know what I mean? You can't diss half of who the fuck you are. Real talk. All right? Okay, so somebody is not going to procrastinate, okay? as well somebody knows that you're coming because they've seen dreams okay so scorpio you could have had warnings that your twin is coming to you, you could have seen them a couple of dreams you could have seen them a couple of days before you saw them in the 3d they could have showed up in your dreams so you knew that you know that you were going to see them all right this person invested in somebody that they thought was the one and they always knew that that person was not the one but they was procrastinating okay all right even though they were having dreams about stuff dreams about not to have sex with these people dreams about how this person was cheating okay um how they have a past life with you as well and how you know all this stuff was just all procrastination all right bottom of the day energy they always knew that their home was unstable un not firm just not positive they they knew this was not a good place but somebody just kept investing in something over and over when they knew it was not good this person still has dreams about you they have past life these dreams seem so real because somebody keep living a real life and it's in the wrong direction but somebody this is pay attention to red flags somebody ignored every fucking red flag that came up every red flag that came up they ignored it and now they humiliated disrespected it Somebody just went crazy on somebody, just really disrespected somebody. And you think you just going to go somewhere and sleep for the night? You don't need to go back over there. You need to go ahead and just start sacking your money, saving you up a place and having a peace of mind. Because having your damn ego disrespected like this just because you cheated is not worth nothing. Especially when you did not even cheat with the person that they accusing you of. Acknowledge and learn from the past. This person has not acknowledged shit. They haven't learned from shit. They ain't gonna never learn from shit. They ain't never gonna forgive you. And whoever this is, they always telling you how you ain't shit. This is fucked up. And you, whoever this is, they got this woman or this man manipulating them to gravel and beg for shit and just lowering their self-esteem every day. This person laying their head so low. 
they mama they mama know this is happening and ain't even ain't saying nothing this is horrible their father their siblings maybe even their kids your spiritual path is being illuminated scorpio the circumstance you find yourself in is not worthy of the time spent worrying about it release it so you this is the advice you need to get to this motherfucker they need to let this shit go okay this situation is unhealthy in reverse okay so scorpio you live in a very healthy life and you speak about it every day you try to speak to this person so that they can speak they can live a healthy life but they don't listen it says our souls are you somebody's soul ain't evolving i ain't got time for this okay so you know when somebody wants to get out of an abusive relationship they will when somebody wants to relieve their self of burdens they will but until then this person's still gonna get beat up by this wife or this husband and it just is what it is but it's sad because people are like publicly talking about it it's so much chatter this is like in the neighborhood in the community it's like every time this person had a friend it would get disrupted because you know they would see how disrespected they would get by their wife or disrespected they would get by their husband and it get embarrassing it gets um uncomfortable at times you know but this person just wants everybody to know how this person is a scumbag and a piece of shit and if that's just really how it is why you with them why you doing that this shit is ugly to see y'all bye is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. Huh? And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love, they ain't what the fix it. Uh -uh. They don't really like people switching up, and they can't be kind of controlling, like, bitch. Shut the fuck up Shut Scorpios up. are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit give them. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen, no you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint, man, you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you